Hi guys, we're here with the practice volume of rectangular prisms quiz. I'll be using my um, pen tool a lot here and you should be using your pencil and paper to be working these out as well. Remember for volume of a prism, we're looking at length times width times height. Well, in this problem, they give you the length and the width by already calculating the area of the bottom. So that is both of these together. So this is gonna be 25 times our height of three. I think if I have three quarters, how much money do I have? I have 75 cents, so 25 times three is 75. Next. What is the volume of this prism? Now this time they didn't give you the area of the bottom. You need to calculate um, the full volume here. So we're gonna take all three numbers that we have. We have the length of six, a width of two, and a height of three. Six times two is 12. And then we have 12 times three, which is 36. Again, this one, you have to use all three numbers to find the volume. Remember that these are in cubic inches because we are measuring three things. So we're cubing it. And in this case, it's inches. So I have a length of two, a width of four, and a height of eight. Two times four is eight. And then I have eight times eight. If you need your multiplication chart, go ahead and use it. Or even if you wanna check yourself maybe with a calculator afterwards, that might be another option. Eight times eight is 64. This is one again where it gives us some information and we have to figure out the other information. So it tells us the total volume, right? So if our formula is length times width, times height equals the volume. They're giving us the volume. The volume is 90. We already know that. They're telling us the length and width by giving us this area here. So we have 30 times something equals 90. That's something being the height. So we need to figure out what that is. Well, I know three times three is nine. So 30 times three would be 90. So our height here would be three because 30 times three would give me 90. Or you could divide both sides by 30 and do 90 divided by 30 is three. Oops, sorry, switching over to my mouse. Three here. Another one where we need to figure out the height. They're giving us some of the information, but not all of it. This time, I'll leave that. They give us a volume of 36. We know the volume 36. They give us the length and the width, so that's three times two. What we don't know is the height. I know three times two is six, so six times something, right? That's our height, that's our unknown, is 36. So I can think, hmm, six times six is 36, or I could do 36 divided by six would give me six. So my height here would be six. Again, this time we're missing the width. They've given us a length and the height. So we have a length of four. We don't know the width. We have a height of two. And we have a volume of 24. So four times two is eight. Eight times something is 24. So I think about my multiples of eight, right? Eight. 16, 24, then eight times one, two, three, would give me a width of three. Put three in here. And actually, I think that's your last one. So you're all done on this section. All right, guys, if you have any questions, please read out, reach out to your classroom teachers or resource teachers, and we're here for anything you need. Thanks. Bye. Have a good day.